been teaching sewing for many years. So today we're going to talk about parts of the sewing machine. This is my sewing machine here. I sew on a baby lock Elizabeth and um, the parts of the machine are important to know not just so that you know how to operate your machine but so that when something goes wrong you know what to check. The first thing on our machine that we um, associate with sewing is the needle because most of us, if we've ever thought of sewing, we've also thought of hand sewing with a needle and thread. So in a sewing machine, there is a needle right on top that goes up and down and it's gonna form those stitches much, much faster than we ever could if we were hand sewing. Next to the needle, right underneath it, this is called the presser foot. The presser foot does just what it sounds like. It presses the fabric so that the fabric can be pulled through the sewing machine to form the continuous line of stitching. Right underneath the presser foot, and I'll move it so you can see a little better, these um, textured little grip bars here are actually called the feed dogs. Feed dogs in conjunction with the presser foot are what pull your fabric through the sewing machine. Contrary to what you might have thought, if you've never sewn before, you don't actually have to pull fabric through your machine. The machine should do that for you if you have all of your settings correct. On the top part of my sewing machine here, I've got this spool pin where I'm going to put the thread, and I'll show you how to thread the machine. And I've also got this um, up here is the bobbin winder. Sometimes that is on top of the machine. Sometimes that is something that would be on the side of the machine, um, but usually, or on the back, usually it's right here on the top though. Over here, this thing I've got that I can turn is called the flywheel. Now, in general, if you ever touch the flywheel, you want to make sure to turn it toward you. Um, turning it backwards would cause your machine to sew backwards and a lot of times that can also tangle up your threads or um, make your machine unhappy. So if you're going to turn the flywheel, turn it towards you. Um, down here, this is my bobbin casing and this particular machine has what's called a drop-in bobbin. A drop-in bobbin is where you load it from the top and the bobbin lays flat while your machine is sewing. The other type of bobbin that you might see on a machine would be a side loading bobbin. And for those types of machines, usually there's a little door that would open up down here and the bobbin would go in sideways there. So there'd be a little casing that would hold it and it would go in like that. Right up here on my machine is the thread tension dial. This controls how much tension how, um, how tightly the machine is pulling on the top thread. The tension is important because the stitches on the top and the stitches in the bobbin work together and they pull with just the right amount of tension so you get a nice flat line of stitching. If the tension is off, you're going to see messed up stitching and the stitches will not hold as well as if the tension was correct. Um, this part in here that you often can't see in newer machines is actually called the take-up lever. And if you look really closely with your machine, when you turn the flywheel, when it, um, the needle is all the way up, you'll also see a little metal lever that is all the way up. A little hint, when you are sewing, make sure that that lever is all the way up whenever you cut your threads. That will prevent your machine from unthreading itself on the next thing that you sew. Some machines, like this one, actually do that automatically for you, which is great. But if your machine doesn't, remember the last step, you're going to want to turn the flywheel and make sure that your take-up lever is all the way up. Now, in addition to the basic features that all machines have, my machine has a few extras that I really enjoy. Right here is the thread cutting. So I don't actually have to use scissors when I'm done with the seam. Um, I can push this button and the machine will pull my threads to the back of the machine and then clip them for me. Um, this is the needle up down um, button on my machine. I, other machines that don't have this, again, you would use the flywheel to do that. And this is the reverse stitch button on my machine. Some machines have some kind of lever um, to reverse stitch, but most all machines are gonna have some way to reverse your stitching. 
I also have a threader on the side of my machine here. This will thread my needle for me, but that's an optional feature that, again, not all machines have. And then finally, back here, I have um, the presser foot lever. This is what's going to lower or raise my presser foot. 